Scorpio, welcome back to Shea C. Tarot. I hope you're all doing amazing. Let's get started. I'm anxious. I'm going to use a crystal tarot for your overall energy today. And I'm going to use the traditional tarot for your energy here as well. Assume ever you're thinking about using the other traditional tarot. And we are going to get your mutual energies with our Shea C. Prism Tarot. This is exclusive. You can check that out at ShaeC.com if you wish to do so. We're going to dig deep. And heavy. Let's find out what's going on. I know we're all anxious. Happy December. I cannot believe we're already in the holiday season. Get your energy in with us and support our channel free by hitting that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because I've noticed like some of you are asking for Scorpio readings and I have just done them. So I have a feeling that some of you haven't hit that notification bell. If you do that, it will notify you of new readings when they do come out. So that you can, you know, watch it right away. I know how impatient we are. I do. I'm a Scorpio for those of you that are brand new. And thank you so much for those of you who have donated to the channel. It truly means the world to my girls and I. Thank you so much. Let's get this party started. What is going on? For those of you that are brand new, I always continue this reading down below in the description and comment section. There is a link there. You can click on that. I will dig so much deeper in that extended. I'll let you know about that in a little while. I know I'm anxious. I've already meditated on our cards. So we need to see what's going on. I'm going to dig into the new year as well in the extended. So we're going to start December here. But remember how tarot works is just divine timing. Because I'm getting the energies right now doesn't mean that everything's going to be happening right now for you. You're all going to be different. It's just general read. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Okay. Check your moon rising Venus sign. Sometimes I resonate with my moon sign as well as my sun sign. For you, it might be your rising sign and moon sign. Could be all of them. You're going to get messages from each one as well. So definitely, you know, check out the other playlist if you wish to do so. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. There might be commitment in your future. Wow, let's just see what's going on. Or you might be doing very awesome in the financial department soon, Scorpio. You might be hitting a jackpot. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. But that is also about commitment. It can also be the end of a cycle. So let's keep going. Ten of Pentacles. And this can definitely play out from Cross Watcher's perspective. For Cross Watchers, it definitely can play out from your perspective. Let's see what's going on. King of Swords. Okay. And definitely the plot thickens here, Scorpio. Somebody could be... It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, somebody with air and uh, earth in their chart quite possibly, but somebody's making a decision here. This is somebody quite often in authority as well. It can be an attorney, type of an authority figure, but this can also be somebody taking on that energy, very, very strong air energy of making head over heart decisions to cut out perhaps a commitment, uh, long-term relationship here. Could be you, could be your person. This is not your energy, I don't feel, Scorpio. Clarify the King of Swords. The Fool. Yeah, there's a brand new beginning here. Somebody's ready for a new beginning, ready to take a leap of faith here. I'm guided to protect my life journey. This is I'm ready to go out on a new journey, okay? I'm ready to protect what I feel is mine, and I'm going to block out anything or cut out anybody that is not on my wavelength kind of thing. I've made this decision. It's been a tough decision. I've had to make a head over heart decision. I'm going to leave uh, a commitment or a marriage or something that I was committed to behind. And I'm going to take a new leap of faith here because I'm being called to head toward my new beginning here. This is something that's meant to be. The fool card is the beginning. Okay, that's major arcana. I'm ready for my new life journey here. This can sometimes even represent, you know, even, um, you know, a young adult leaving home for the first time as well. That can be speaking their peace, you know, but because the Ten of Pentacles is here, this is about commitment, combined assets, resources. It's like somebody is uh, standing up and saying enough or they have an attorney involved, perhaps, and they're ready for the new beginning. They could be talking to an attorney as well, but let's go ahead and keep going. The King of Swords is definitely like somebody that is very strong, very, very highly intelligent, and they're ready to go for this new beginning, and they're they're going to make it happen. They're going to stop anybody that um, in their tracks that tries to stop them from heading forward on this new journey, on their path here. Clarify the Fool, Scorpio. You definitely could be taking on this air energy as well, Scorpio. You know, if, if you're leaving behind a commitment. Um, Four of Swords, yeah. Okay, so somebody's just kind of needing to take a break right now. Or this could be taking a break from a commitment right now. 
you know, I want this new beginning. I need a break right now. Maybe somebody just needs time to think. It's like I want to figure things out here. I know that there is more out there. I cannot see everything, but I, I'm just going to take this leap and see where it takes me. Somebody's just going to take this risk of going for it. Uh, but it's, it's like I just kind of need to take a break here first. There may have been a difficult battle that you or your person has gone through. It could be both of you. Um, but it's like I need time to just kind of discover me and kind of gather my senses here is what I'm getting. And then I'm going to head out. That's kind of what I'm getting. We're going to clarify this in the extended for January 2021. But let's get your energy here. Scorpio, what's going on? Leave me comments. A lot of my repeat clients, you know, this happens quite often. Uh, they'll say, yes, that's exactly what's going on in my life, like right now. And some will say, oh, this, this is happening now. You know, it, it wasn't happening then. I didn't really understand them, but it's happening now. So that can happen as well. That's what I mean. You're all going to be different. So unless you request a, a personal reading, um, it's not geared towards your specific energy. Remember, there's thousands of Scorpios watching this uh, reading. It's a general, so... I love doing our readings. I'm a Scorpio sun, Cancer moon, Libra rising, and a Sagittarius Venus for those of you that are brand new. So, and I'm thinking about doing a Scorpio channel as well. Just, um, but I just don't know that I have time to, I, I have enough hard time getting all of the readings done now. I think in the future I will have more time, but right now I'm homeschooling my daughters. So thank you for your understanding for that. What is going on for Scorpio? What do we need to know for our highest good for December, 2020? What are the messages? What do we need to know, spirits and angels, for Scorpio? What are the messages? Leave me comments down below. Again, I want to know what's going on with all of you, where you are at in your journey. I try to answer all your messages. Make sure you uh, head over to our Facebook page if you haven't already as well, because sometimes I put some messages there, and I also post what readings I'm going to do next, okay? Sometimes I'll do last-minute premieres, you know. Look at that. Okay, look, it's, it's like I'm 10 to the 9. I'm becoming single. I'm going to become self-sufficient. I'm going to cut out whoever is in my way of this new beginning because this is meant for me. Okay, so I feel like somebody's been through a bit of an emotional struggle, a battle. Uh, can be also with a commitment family here, possibly for some of you. I'm ready to take a break here. I'm, I'm self-sufficient. I'm able to do things on my own here. I'm, I'm, I'm very secure. I can do awesome on my own. I don't need anybody. Okay, this is somebody that doesn't necessarily need anyone so if they're with you Scorpio we're quite often this way we can do just fine on our own as we know um, we don't have to have somebody with us to make us financially secure or stable we're able to stand on our own two feet if we're with somebody or we want somebody it's because we really really want to be with that person um, we don't like to be codependent we like to be very self-sufficient we don't like to depend on anybody in that respect okay we can hold our own um, this is somebody that was in a long-term relationship that is becoming single I feel here okay I, I feel like somebody just needs a break after going through and making a difficult difficult decision to cut somebody out of their life and start brand new and fresh because it's a calling with the fool card here that is a calling from the universe this is somebody that is sometimes stepping out for the first time in can be years, 10 years, possibly with the 10 of pentacles, um, longer maybe. It, it's like I'm ready to move forward here. So you or whomever you're thinking about, let's clarify the nine of pentacles. There is strong, again, air energy and uh, pentacle energy here. So earth, what is going on with nine of pentacles for Scorpio? Wow. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah. I've decided to end this situation it's become very painful. I can't take another sword in my back. I just want to be single, self-sufficient. I know I can do just fine on my own. I don't need anybody, but I need a break here. And this is the fool to me as well as a two of swords. It's like, I know that I need to make a decision about where I'm going from here. But right now, I just want to take a break before I actually make a decision. Because the fool doesn't know everything yet. This to me is the fool. You're standing there with a blindfold on their moon. You're in the dark. This could be you, Scorpio, that's in the dark. You've no idea what's going on with your person. Maybe you're feeling betrayed somehow. You're single. This could definitely be you. You don't know what's going on with them. 
Um, they're the king of swords right now, perhaps, or you are somebody's not talking. It's like they're not showing any emotion. Uh, you could be having a bird's eye view at what's going on with your person. However, this resonates for you. This is what I'm seeing. Somebody's in the dark here. They're kind of, they know they need to take a leap of faith, but they're not really sure where that leap of faith is going to take them. But that's what the fool is. They're like, I'm willing to take the risk because where I am is too painful. I know I can't tolerate one more sword in my back that much. I know that's what I'm getting. So somebody's not showing any emotion right now because they're just kind of chillaxing, needing this break to contemplate because they don't know exactly where they're going. They just know they can't take one more sword in their back is what I'm getting. Ooh, very deep. Not surprising for our Scorpio readings. Is it Scorpios? No. Let's find out what's going on with your person. Again, I do feel like this isn't your energy, but it definitely could be. We can all take on the energy of fire, air, water, and earth. What's going on with Scorpio's person of interest now or in the future? Whoever they're dealing with is affecting the energy. How do they feel about Scorpio now or in the future? What are their intentions towards Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know for their highest good? What do we need to know, spirits and angels? For December 2020, what are the messages? What are the new messages for Scorpio? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about our person now or in the future? What's going on with our person? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so somebody's deciding to walk away from this relationship or another relationship. However, it resonates for you. Somebody's walking away from um, a very painful cycle that's ending and this is like I need to lay down and rest I don't want to see anybody I don't want to talk to anybody I just want to lay here and figure things out I need to figure things out I know I'm at a crossroads I know that I need to decide what I want to do but right now I'm going to rest first because there's a lot of things I don't know but I do know that where I am is too painful I'm not emotionally satisfied I'm not getting any love here. I'm not getting any respect here. I need to leave it behind, okay, is what I'm getting. Now, you could be walking away from your person. They could be walking away from you, or they could be walking away um, from somebody else. Either way, I feel it's a long-term committed relationship that has become uh, very unhealthy, very painful, very toxic. Ten of Swords, I mean, that is very painful. That is like, there's no love left there. You can see it in the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups. It's like, I want to leave in the middle of the night here. I just, you know, I'm ready to take whatever chance I have to. I'm ready to leap off a cliff if I have to because it's just, I cannot stay here anymore. That's what I'm getting. I can't do it. It's too painful. Wow. Oh, there's the Fool in Four of Wands. Okay, so somebody definitely can be walking towards freedom to me this is freedom we've got the ten of pentacles down to the nine of pentacles this is a marriage or commitment i'm walking away from it i'm i'm there's there's no more love left here this is painful there's this is empty for me this is completely empty somebody's feeling empty and i want something new we've got the fool card twice definitely an indication there's a new beginning here there's freedom uh, you know, I'm, I know I can do just fine on my own. Why am I staying in this painful situation? Someone is real, realizing that they don't need to stay where they are. And sometimes it's the devil you know versus the devil you don't. This person is realizing that they'd rather be without the devil they know and be on their own than be with that devil who, you know, that, that person, that, that situation that is no longer working. I mean, it's completely empty is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so this is about freedom celebration. This can also represent that somebody has a new beginning with possibly a twin flame. This is the 1111 card. It can be. But there's there's rest period going on here. Somebody's just taking a rest right now. It's 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 been through a very painful experience that, whew, yeah, I would want to rest too, right? Who wouldn't? So Scorpio, this could be you. It could be your person that you're dealing with, okay? It could be both of you just separating from one another, needing or taking a break. <clears throat> I feel it's a final break, though, because we definitely have a new beginning here in the Ten of Swords. So let's see what's going on mutually between you and your person. Again, don't forget to smash that like button, as my girls would say. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It's absolutely free to do so. My girls and I truly appreciate it. The support has been amazing, and I love reading for all of you. Honestly, it's my addiction. 
everybody say hello to Usagi, who's been fantastic at supporting the channel. Thank you so much, Usagi. Truly appreciate you very, very much. What is going on mutually for Scorpio and their person of interest? How are they mutually mirroring one another? I can feel they're starting to stick. So somebody's kind of stuck at trying to figure out what they want to do next here. That's what I'm getting. What is going on mutually between Scorpio and the person of interest? How are they both mutually feeling about one another? What are their thoughts, hopes, wishes, and dreams with one another? How are they mirroring one another when it comes to their relationship now or in the future for December 2020? What are the messages for Scorpio? What do we need to know for our highest good for the next month here, please, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Wow. So... You and your person want to see each other. You want to date each other. You want to go out. You want romance. You want sweet love here is what I'm getting. So you may be kind of taking a chance, a leap of faith here towards somebody that you possibly feel is your twin flame here. This is about, you know, taking that opportunity. There's a new opportunity here. I feel in love for you. Um, you're just, again, feeling empty where you are. You're ready for this new start, this new person, this new opportunity. And it's like there's no limits. You want there to kind of be this free spirit. It's like I want to be a free spirit and experience, you know, this romance, this happiness, this freshness between the two of you is what I'm getting. Very nice. What are the new messages, please, between Scorpio and their person? Ah, heartbreak. Okay, so there could be distance for some of you uh, with the Four of Wands because that can also indicate travel as well. Uh, that can be taking a relationship to the next level. It can be that, that you know, you or they feel that you are their wish fulfillment. They're walking towards you, um, ready to take that leap of faith that could surprise you perhaps for some of you. Uh, it's just that somebody needs a break first here right now. Uh, you may have a new opportunity coming in with a romantic partner. After a period of heartbreak, Scorpio, a new beginning, you might be meeting somebody brand new. And it can be with the Four of Wands as well that you walk away from one situation and then you meet somebody at a celebration with the Four of Wands there. After a period of heartbreak, what's going on? And they, you know, they want to take you out for a date, romance. You could be another water sign here, but I've also got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries again, and uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What is going on mutually for Scorpio and their person of interest? What do they need to know? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so expect some communication here between the two of you. Somebody's anxious. They're kind of like staying up at night. They have a level of anxiety here. I feel this is why somebody needs to rest. Perhaps they're trying to figure things out here, gather their senses is what I'm getting. You or them. It's like I've been through this very difficult, painful, you know, uh, relationship here that's ending here. I have these new opportunities. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going right now because I'm a little off balance after this. It's, you know, it's it's been painful here and heartbreaking uh, all the way around and I need to rest before I go out on this new journey here. I am excited about it. I feel like somebody wants to share communication, but right now they have to get through this depression period here. You were them. And I feel like you want to, you want to, if you haven't met this person already, you will be. I feel like somebody wants to take you out. They've been possibly keeping an eye on you here. But first, somebody is getting through a difficult ending here to a long-term situation, marriage, commitment, whatever they were in here. I want to go ahead and get a psychic tarot as well here for us Scorpio and then I'm going to pull more of the psychic tarot in the extended as well I'm going to do the romance angel pick a card I'm also going to do the moonology pick a card as well in the extended for advice and guidance messages see what the universe has to give you in terms of that we're going to dig deeper into the general energy as well as the other for January 2021 I'm going to pull the tarot sexual map see how you and your person are feeling about each other intimately I'm also right now going to pull a Divine Feminine and a Divine Masculine. Messages from the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. What is going on for Scorpio, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2020. What are the messages for Scorpio for December 2020? What are the messages for Scorpio December 2020? What do we need to know for our highest good 
Expect some communication. Somebody wants to take you out, Scorpio, and vice versa. Fertility. So that's a birth of something brand new. There's something brand new happening here. And although it is exciting, there's a level of anxiety here as well, okay? Somebody just needs to rest here right now. It can be you and your person, okay? This can be you again, taking this leap of faith. You may decide to travel in the near future here or somebody towards you, but either way, it's it's uh, there's a period of heartbreak. This is a cycle that's ending and it needs a healing period right now is what I'm getting, okay? Somebody could be staying up at night, doing a lot of worrying, a lot of thinking. You know, I don't know everything. Which direction do I go? But I'm also ready for this new beginning because it's it's been so unhappy where I've been. But... It, 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 when you go through a painful cycle like that, as Scorpios, we know that you need the time to heal. Go out and mother nature, do whatever you need to do to get through it. But somebody, I mean, I feel like you've got the fool card here twice. This is like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take that leap because where I've been, I know it's not working there. And uh, expect to be romanced. That's what I'm seeing here. Look, discontent and boredom. Okay, so somebody could be, although, you know, kind of indecisive at the moment it's like I'm having this rest and it's kind of like I'm at the same time I'm bored it's like I'm I'm healing but at the same time I'm bored I, I know that I need to take a leap I'm just not completely sure if I'm ready yet okay so somebody's not <laughs> they're not they're excited about the new beginning but they're they're not sure at the same time so it's just you know they I think somebody you have to hit rock bottom sometimes before you get back on top and that's exactly what this is I've hit rock bottom I'm kind of down in the dumps right now but I feel like once you watch out once you get up here because this person's gonna you know this is somebody that's doing a lot of thinking and contemplating at night and and um, then they're gonna decide to just go on this journey here because they're not fulfilled they're bored they're unhappy and it's like I know there's more out there and I'm ready to go here somebody's going to be ready to go here pretty quick we're going to find out you know when when the action's going to be taken like i said we'll see if there's any action for january here but let's go ahead and pull i want to pull a divine feminine and divine masculine and then i will also pull, pull more in the extended as well what are the messages from the divine masculine for scorpio for december I regretted it the second I saw pain in your eyes. So somebody regrets that they hurt you, Scorpio. They feel like they they can see pain in your eyes or pain and hear pain in your voice or your messages that they have regrets of how things are turning out here. Okay, so perhaps there's a level of anxiety between the two of you, okay, and what's going on. There's been perhaps a painful ending between the two of you and... Um, you you need to get through this in order to move on or again they're leaving a painful situation and it puts you in a painful situation whatever the case may be there is a new beginning here it's just a rest period so if nothing's happening right now it's because somebody's not showing any emotion but make no mistake you or they or both of you are discontent you're not happy right now um, you're both having a level of depression or anxiety over this staying up at night worrying somebody has some regrets um from the message from the divine family is i divine masculine is i regret how i hurt you basically um i feel like there's heartbreak between the two of you here okay but definitely it's like you you both want to romance each other you both want to go out with one another you want that sweet sweet love here and i feel like this can either be a reunion with the four of wands or somebody needs to take this leap of faith towards walking away from what they're not happy in you or them it's definitely here and i feel like somebody needs somebody's getting cut out here um and that's been a very difficult painful decision here but it's one that has to be made because when you get to the ten of swords this is to the point where like i said you can't take one more sword in your back it's so extremely painful that you're better off to be single and sufficient on your own than you are to stay in a situation where there's no respect no love no happiness boredom discontent it's like every day you're looking at the clock and you're going oh okay it's 10 o'clock i guess i'll do this again 
<laughs> you know, oh, Scorpios can't handle that. It's like, no, uh-uh, no, nope, I'd rather be on my own, thank you. Yeah, we don't, we don't deal with that well, do we, Scorpio? Heck no, we need some excitement. Not all the time. We love to sit at home. I love to watch Netflix. I love, I have my routines, but I also need a little of excitement here and there, you know. Uh, that's how us Scorpios are, right? I don't think there's a Scorpio in the world who's going to argue with that. What's the message from the Divine femi Feminine? Ew, I can't talk this morning. It's Monday. What do you expect? What are the messages from the Divine Feminine? I'm sorry if I hurt you. I love you so much. So if Scorpio hurt hurt the cross watcher or vice versa, they are so sorry. Okay, however this plays out for you. This is for the message from the Divine Feminine. I'm sorry if I hurt you. I love you so much. So there's some regret going on here. There's been some hurt, but there's also regrets that somebody wishes perhaps, you know, um, they made better choices or decisions here. Okay. I want you to know I'll always be here for you beautiful that's awesome okay so we are going to dig so much deeper in the extended i'm going to pull more of the psychic tarot we're going to do the angel pick a card as well as moonology pick a card so i hope that you are all doing amazing and don't allow this heartbreak to ruin your holidays continue scorpio to stay focused positive and take charge of yourself everything else will fall into place you just have to stay i can't i can't express this enough do not wallow do not fuss get out in mother nature do what you got to do to stay focused and positive and you will get through whatever because we're scorpios and that's what we do and for cross watchers you know scorpios even though they may not show it sometimes believe me their feelings run true and deep and long and hard FYI. So for those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me on the continuation, the link is down below in the description area as well as the comment section. And stay happy and healthy and stay as positive as you can, especially over the holiday season. Sometimes it can be a tough time, especially with the way things are right now. But I, I, I have no worries about us Scorpios because we are little fighters aren't we Scorpios and for cross watchers um, you know I, if I do the Scorpio channel and for Scorpios of course we do the Scorpio channel I will be focusing on um, a Scorpio dealing with a Leo a Scorpio dealing with a Taurus a Scorpio dealing with an Aries I'll try and do that but again it's something I have to have time to do um, I'm also helping my girls with their channel. They've always wanted to get their channel going. Um, this is very important to me. You're important to me. As you know, uh, we do a lot of Scorpio readings, not just because I'm a Scorpio, because you guys have been my biggest supporters. And thank you so much. I appreciate you all very much. So if you haven't subscribed already or hit the like button, go ahead and do that. And you will be notified if I do a Scorpio channel. Okay. Um, it may not happen this year. <laughs> this year's almost over. But anyways, okay. Meet me over on the continuation if you're ready. For those of you seeing me next time, I'll see you in a few days. I wish you nothing but amazing blessings now and always. Namaste.